everyone. Happy 2023. Happy June 2023. So um, this is just an intro to the monthlies. Just to let you know that I'm back to work again. Although I never really stopped working. But I'm back to work on YouTube. And if you wanted to book a reading, all my information is in the um, description box below the video. Where there is a link to the website. And um, just to remind you, the name of the channel will be changing soon. So I'll be putting the old name in brackets. And um, But I don't know if I'm doing it yet, but it'll happen at some point. And then what else do I need to say? Uh, if you do want to book, please look at the website and read the booking instructions just to make everything easier so don't, we don't have to go it back and forth with emails. Because uh, I don't like to be in my ego having to think about things. I like to be let go. <laughs> um, that's it. All right. Uh, have a lovely month. I hope the monthlies help you out. Lots of love. Bye. This is for Libra, June 2023. See what Libra needs to hear. Twenty twenty three. Libra. Okay. They're showing me packing boxes. Uh, maybe you're going to be, and they're showing me you measuring something, Libra, like you're measuring, measuring up. So maybe there's a new location on the horizon. Maybe it's thoughts of moving, planning moving, um, something like that. Anything else? Oh, suit. So they just said suit. So maybe you're going to be um, looking at there's somewhere that you're going to go, like a, an event or something, something that you need smart clothes for. Something like, uh, and they just said arrival. So maybe even somebody's coming to see you, or you're going to be arriving somewhere. Um, visiting or having visitors something like that could be celebrations they're saying maybe you're going to get invited to a wedding it's the month of weddings um uh it does feel like i know it's very vast amount of libras out there <laughs> uh, libra is the sign of love and marriage so but they're talking about that really they're talking about love and marriage and celebrations get-togethers um, so, I feel like this must be information that they're giving on a much broader scale, just something that you need to know this month. You need to know it this month. Perhaps it's not necessarily going to happen this month. They just want you to know about it. Marriage. They just said marriage is on the horizon. So, for those of you who have, you know, maybe been thinking, oh, is that ever going to happen for me? If that's something that you want, marriage is on the horizon. Oh, they just show me the sun as well, shining really brightly. Um, travel, a lot to do with travel this month as well. Uh, researching, traveling, trips, maybe honeymoon, something like that. Let's have a look. But the cards, page of cups, so something that you love. Oh, page of wands, guided by spirit, guided by vibrational self. Queen of wands, vibrational creation through vibrational self. Judgment destiny. Strength, infinite connection, masculine and feminine. Also vibrational, this card strength. And the hanged man process. This feels like something that you love. It's like, look at it. So it could be you're guided to look in magazines or on websites this month for what you love. 
maybe it's to do with like you know what you want to if you if you somebody that really wants to have a wedding like what you want to wear at the wedding or how you want the wedding to be when you're um putting things into your vibrational uh a cash account <laughs> or vibrational account you want to look at things that you'd like you know so get ideas of what you'd like the wedding to look like maybe it's a planning a vibrational wedding because it's guided right so you might just suddenly get the urge to go online and look at wedding magazines online something like that and look at loads of bridesmaids dresses or brides dresses and they're just saying like um a coach and horses uh things like that <laughs> and looking at things like that because it's destiny here whatever it is strength mas this is um masculine and feminine so it's like the de the the dark and the light so the dark is how we create and the light is how we create so your high ideas of what you want like oh that's a beautiful dress i'd love to wear that dress that it would feel great to wear that dress coupled with the image of the dress which is also already manifested is the dark that's how it comes into being. So the visual plus the feeling, so the brain plus the heart is how it comes into being. So this is why we, you know, this is how you utilize the physical domain that you're in by using it to create, by looking at beautiful things um, in pictures or in shops or wherever else you could see them. And then, uh, and then bringing it about by feeling great you know, slipping into it, like physically, you know, not necessarily putting it on in a shop, but just feeling like you've put the dress on or you've put the suit on or, you know, or you're sitting at the buffet, or sorry, you would be standing at the buffet, <laughs> um, or you're dancing in the, um, you know, the tent or whatever it is that you're dancing at weddings, whatever they call them, you know, this kind of stuff, smelling the candles, carrying the flowers, all that kind of stuff process hanged man is process so it's the process of creation through vibration which is the feeling of just that would you know all you need in your head is that would feel great those words that would feel great it would be lovely too you know it would be lovely to have a wedding it would feel great to have a wedding and really feeling it and feeling how great and lovely that would be and looking at images of exactly what you want and almost tasting it by, you know, looking at it and feeling it and using all your senses to really get in touch with how juicy that is, that, you know, and the wedding cake and everything and how spongy it is and fruity it is or whatever, <laughs> chocolatey, <clears throat> licking your lips at the, you know, as, as you desire to have and feel that you already have it. Um, those things, the process of creation, basically. And bring in bringing about your destiny. Not everybody wants a wedding, you know. But um, I guess a lot of people do. Maybe you don't. Eat, maybe you think you don't, but you do. Some of you. Well, you're a Libra. You're the side of sign of love and romance. I I bet you probably do. Then. <laughs> maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, page of cups. So that's just little things that you love, right? And bringing it in. This is um. This is harnessing vibration, page of wands guided, queen of wands creating, judgment, a destiny, you know, it's like creating your own destiny. I, you know, I will have that wedding. I mean, I had a little thing the other day, and my dog needs a new harness, she needs, but she's getting rubbed under her armpits by the one we've got. Now she's not got a winter suit underneath it as a, some cushioning. She needs um, a new harness, and I'm like, I can't find a comfy harness anywhere online. They're all the same shitty harnesses, um, and I need a, you know, I want a really nice, comfy one for her. So, and then, bam, the next day I'm out, and I see every dog is wearing a comf some kind of different comfy harness. So I'm just like pulling it all in, you know, and looking at them, and look at then looking at them online, and eventually we'll get the right harness for summer. So that's just, you know, example of how once you start wanting something and focusing on it and, you know, would love to have it, it starts to come along. Um, but this is about weddings and love and romance and other things that you love, maybe. Um, they're saying suited and booted, though. I feel it's, or maybe it's clothes. Could be clothing. 
Maybe you're going to look at suits. Maybe you're going to look at suits for the opposite sex. So maybe you're going to bring about, start to bring about someone you want to get married to by looking at what that person would wear at your wedding. Because if you're visualizing something that somebody's going to wear, then someone's going to have to come along to wear it. If you're desiring it so much that they, that they will wear it. Someone's got to fill that suit at some point. <laughs> so maybe it's that. Ending, Nine of Swords, ending of torment again, but through creating, through vibrational self. So it's like um, futile to think, you know, negative thoughts, basically. It's futile to think. Some people, it's just conditioning, a condition to, to work from the lowest common denominator. They're just conditioned through childhood and adulthood to say to themselves, I can never have that, or I'll never have that, or it's silly to want that because I can never have that which is completely to opposite to the truth. The truth is you can have anything, be anything that you want. Um, you just gotta believe it and really, really, really desire it and feel like it's a completely the right fit for you. Really the right fit. So maybe it's other things and not just clothes, other things that would be the right fit for you that you feel, maybe it's a job that you feel like you've always wanted to like be a, a an assistant at a big fashion company or something like that, you know, and you've always thought, oh, I could never do that, I'm not good enough for that. Maybe something you don't have the skills for, but you still really want to do it. But if you really, really want it, you can really, really have it. You don't have to have a degree for anything. People move into career through other ways than that. Just through sheer force of will, which what that is, force of will, strength, it's force of vibration. It's just adamantly knowing inside yourself that you will have what you desire at some point. And that knowledge is belief, right? Believing you will have it. A uh, page of Wands guided by strength. Um, and then we've got Ten of Cups. Ah, which is a happy relationship and love and marriage. And completion. Right, so guided into maybe you're going to guide yourself into completion of bringing about the love that you want by focusing on what you know traditionally love always springs to mind in people got mind there creating through mind letting go of waste, worst case scenario you know letting go of being that person that, oh i'll never get married i'll never wear a dress like that i mean like i say maybe some of you have never even don't even think that you want to maybe you get flicking through a magazine and you see something and you're like oh <laughs> Oh, I want that. Oh, I could wear that. You know, maybe it's not a traditional wedding dress. Maybe it's something that's completely different. And you're like, that's what it's, I'm going to wear that. At my wedding, I'm going to wear that, right? Uh, they just said like a bird out of a hat, like manifestation, a magician, bird out of a hat, right? Magic. So... Conclusion there, they just said Ten of Cups is family and home and family, guided by spirit. Just follow the just follow the clues, you know, follow the breadcrumbs, basically, that your vibrational self is going to leave for you. So you come back to your laptop one day, something's jamming, and you finally get the web page up and it's like, what's this about? I didn't click on this. Is it, why, uh, you know, so let go of the frustration and what is it? Look at it again. Maybe it's pictures of a wedding. <laughs> Maybe it's meant to be there. <laughs> Maybe you brought it to yourself. Um, and then we've got High Priestess. So yeah, what you love, small things. It just feels like small things. And um, pictures in magazines, they're just saying. Strength, what you bring about, the infinite connection, dark and light, which is manifestation, how it comes from vibration into being through high, through um, higher self, again, through connecting into the ether, basically, and being fluid and just seeing what is out there, seeing if it floats your boat, seeing if you fancy it, you know. There's, they're saying there's no signing on the dotted line. There's no like, you don't have to look at things and, and go, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't want that, because that won't get you anywhere. 
Just disregard the things that don't float your boat, flip the page and find the next thing that does and get into the feeling of, oh yeah, <laughs> oh that's the one for me. Um, so that's the zone that you want to be in, right? And ignore everything else. Don't focus on it, don't give it any attention at all. So you're working from love in that respect, so you're working from higher timeline in that respect and you're bringing in the best thing, absolutely the best thing possible for you by doing that um, because you're just going to be really focused on like the light and the enjoyment of it and the love of it <clears throat> and none of that half assness that comes from you know having a little inkling things aren't going to be quite right because if you're feeling that and you're thinking that that's what you get things not being quite right but if you're focused on it's going to be absolutely brilliant and perfect, I'm going to look amazing, I'm going to feel amazing, I already feel amazing, that's what you're going to get. So you've really got to like loosen it up, they're saying. Loosen up your corsets, they just said. And underneath we have got dark to light again, so the ending of the battle from dark to light. So it feels like a really fru fruitious month for Libra. I really kind of ease and let go, a lot of ease and let go. A lot of um, imaginings, you know, a lot of kind of um, just like a relaxing into possibilities of higher, you know, relaxing into the possibility of higher perspectives, higher dreams coming along, manifesting. If there's no hard edges to this for you. It doesn't feel like it's a work, you know, like a work, like like any kind of like uh, frowning or like stressing. It's just um, it's just a relaxing and adapting to the position of relaxing, basically. So learning to relax a little bit more. And learning to take things a bit slower, they're saying, easy, being a bit easier with yourself, a bit lighter, and um, uh, not trying to fit everything in. So, you know, not trying to do too much in a day, not trying to fit everything into a schedule or onto a scheduler. Just loosen it up a little bit. Again, they just said loosen up. This time they said apron strings. <laughs> loosen up your apron strings. And uh, see what comes along. When you loosen up, a lot can come along. Okay, so that's it for Libra. I'll leave you with that. See you next month. Bye.